What up, what up? Got my little rum and coke in the back. I was just kicking back thinking. I said, man, you know, I got a lot of time to think. And uh, fortunately, I've had a lot of time in the world to be able to go out and, and view the world and be out, you know, in the scene. You know, I lived in uh, Pacific Beach, San Diego for six years. And I was out every damn night because I was a bartender. And uh, so I got off. I had that mid shift. So I get off. I got to go out. I had a little cash in my pocket. It wasn't rich, man. But, you know, I knew how to work. You know the, the the scene, you know the deals on the Mondays and Tuesdays and what's what what, and I always worked on the weekends, so I just got those weekday deals. But anyway, what I was saying is, man, I was out on the scene for a while. I eventually got off of it because it was a bunch of BS, you know, and uh, I think a lot of people needed to wake up. Um, I think right now what we need to use this is a great reset to reset like our society. Um, I don't know what happened to having fun and going out, but for those six years, I noticed that women were in love with their phones, you know, they were more in love with their phones and, the, and the, their online identities and their real life identity. I, I I sat back after a couple years, after maybe six months, and I had to like figure out like, what do I got to do, you know, and I stopped even trying to like approach women and even try to go after women. I just started like observing the scene, like I was like, because I couldn't figure it out. I mean... I was at a weird point because at one point I got to go out before all these cell phones came out and social media, but then, you know, I had a kid and a couple things fell off, credit went down, had to, you know, I had to go fix my life. Well, I did that. When I popped back out on the scene, it was like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, I'm not a bad looking guy, you know, and, and uh, you know, I had my, had my money right, had everything, I had a little apartment out in PB, I had a little, and I just couldn't figure it out. And, um. I don't know what's going on, but now I'm starting to see it. Now that all this stuff's going on, you're starting to see how the colleges have been kind of brainwashing the kids. And I thought it was kind of strange, too, because San Diego's a college town. So I actually met two different women that said I had traits of a serial killer because my apartment was clean. Now, this is my apartment. I like to keep it clean. Yeah, I got my little transformers. I like transformers. I like artwork to me. And I like to keep my apartment clean. We don't see everything. And I like to keep my car clean. And I like to keep myself clean, as you can see, you know? But I started to see this breakdown in society a few years ago, you know, in American culture. And I started to see it a lot because I would be out in different bars. And I think a lot of it had to do with the... Uh, Facebook and all the, and I'm not blaming Facebook, but you know, the, the, the social media and stuff. And uh, people started falling in love with their, their, their likes and their this and their that, whatever. And it was kind of a breakdown. I, I know it's just my two cents, but I think right now is a good time to people. And I'm not, I'm with facial, uh, I'm with social media, I'm with all this stuff and it's cool. But I think people need to start engaging each other again this is a good time to kind of rethink everything yeah we have social media but we need to like engage people out there you know what i mean we need bartenders we need uh people ringing up our registers we don't need all these machines we don't need to go to a bar and you can pour your own beer you know there's something about having a bartender that might have a little attitude that might have a little you know this or that whatever it is your niche you know what i mean and I think as a society, we need to go a little bit more to that. We were really getting sucked into these electronics and these devices, which we all love and I love. But, you know, they, they kind of work when they work and when they don't, they don't. But I started to see a breakdown between people and stuff. And I think right now we're at a big uh, spiritual warfare. I like to call it the War of the Whispers, where there is such an attack on the um the, the narrative and the control of what you think and what you see in your perception. And it's and it just, it's really out there right now. And I think we really need to wake up and kind of look at that and kind of, kind of meditate on that for a minute. You got the time. We're not going back to work anytime soon, bro. They're going to probably kick us out a little bit more money, but until we stand up and say enough is enough, they're going to keep doing this. And that's what it is right now. They're pushing us to see how far they can go until we push back. So right now we are at a, and I've seen this coming for a year is my whole point. I've seen this coming and I, I didn't really know it was coming. I kind of see it, but now I see it and I can actually express it and talk about it. So I think what we need to really do is start, you know, looking at this and start like opening up our minds to it. Like, wow, um, you know, I like this guy, Elephus Levy, 
and, and, and I got these books on Elvis Levy, and he, you know, he he gets into magic and stuff, and it talks about magic and, and kind of like stuff like that. But he also what he talks about is like the, uh, you know, just stuff. But he, what he talks about is the 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 uh, the astral light, which is kind of what the internet is. It's kind of what the internet is. It's kind of why I like this picture behind me. It's kind of like the astral light. It's like we are all connected, but now we have officially become connected. We have, see, it's people like me and others, you know, I, I like to read cards. And I like to connect to like kind of the astral light. Like we're all connected to it, kind of like, like an antenna. And I'm getting a little deep here, but now what I'm trying to say is with these phones, we are all connected. You see what I'm saying? It's like they hand me this piece of plastic and this metal and you say, okay, you're connected. Like I can literally call my friend in Thailand right now and just start talking to her. It's like. So all I'm trying to say is like, we're there, we're here.